Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's September 19th, 2020. Can we have a serious, a serious talk, serious discussion? Um, I, I was thinking about um, Earth and its beginnings. <laughs> uh, and what we were taught um, of how a planet comes to existence over billions and billions of years and the fascination of it and how delicate it is what things that I've noticed and the bullshit that I have learned um, we were we were told well, we all were, because all of our schools are exactly the same. They teach exactly the same thing, at the same time. Thus that rainbow video that I did. <laughs> I started seeing rainbows in every house. Painted on rocks! I was like, what the fuck is all of this stuff? And then I finally figured it out that the schools, are, it's just like the news. They talk about the same fucking thing, over and over again, on the same channel, at the same time. Every news channel is playing. Yeah, flip the channel. And in your, in your state, you'll see. People have done videos on it, and so obvious. Uh, I mean, if they, people can't even see that, then, then you better put a face mask on. You better hunker down, because uh, stage two is coming. I don't want to get into that shit. Anyway. So, we're formed from this rock. Spinning around, I don't know. When the sun unformed, I guess. Right? So this rock is just out there by itself, and there are other rocks that are out there too, and then and one decides to get a little bigger. And uh, starts attracting the other rocks. And then this amazing friction starts happening and, and uh, more and more rocks join the, the crowd. You know? and, and and thus forming this this ball and and then all of a sudden because of the friction molten lava just appears out of nowhere okay that's what's holding the core together that's what's holding the gravity together so the gravity gets bigger and bigger and bigger because the object's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it keeps rotating quicker and quicker faster and faster it's it's gathering more rocks it's gathering more rocks it's it's amazing it's incredible it's turning into a planet holy shit what are we gonna do and then all of a sudden Bam! Trees start to grow. Atmosphere starts to begin. And the vacuum of space is no longer a problem. So how do trees grow without air? How does that happen? Where does the air come from? I guess when the friction of the rocks and, and then all of a sudden the, the molten lava comes? That might be it. That might be how air comes. Because trees can't grow without air. It's it's like what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Come on, scientists, make up your fucking minds! <laughs> oh my lord! I can't believe what they taught taught this. I, I I can't believe what they taught us. I can't believe we bought it all. Uh, although I don't actually remember. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. I, I don't actually remember the science the science teacher actually explaining how exactly a planet is formed because i think they'd be some questions i don't know i could be wrong as a long time ago um but anyway so that's how a planet's formed it's great it's all bullshit it's all lies it's all nonsense it's a flat earth you live on all right that's it bottom line we're covered with a dome space is fake it doesn't exist it's bullshit all right the NASA astronauts are going absolutely nowhere. Where does a vacuum of space actually begin? I don't remember learning that in school. Where does it begin? Where does the bleeding space begin? Thus, the planet should be able to clean itself, don't you think? If we weren't contained, because air should be able to escape at some point into space. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And that's exactly why these combustible engines, there's 8 billion of them. You don't think it's going to change weather? <laughs> it's 
24 hours a day these things are going, these little furnaces, holy shit. So where does a vacuum of space begin? And what happens to air when somebody punches a hole into it? Well, it gets sucked out. It escapes. It disappears. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. We've shown tankers, oil tankers, when, we've, when we put them in a vacuum, they crush like a tin can, like aluminum. That's what happens when a hole is punched when you're in space. <laughs> you can't put your fucking finger over it. You can't put a stick of gum over it. Don't worry about it. You can't get some gum. Don't worry about it. We'll patch it up tomorrow. I'm kind of tired. Yeah, give me a soda too. That, that tang? Yeah, that tang. I want some of that shit. Right, my ass. Okay, my ass. You believe in this? This ISS up there? They're fooling you. They're pl playing with you to a point where they're saying that there's a hole in the ISS. They're fucking with you. They're seeing how stupid you are, and everybody falls for it. Nobody questions it. Nobody does their research. Nobody does shit. Nobody. Why would they? It's too scary, right? Why look into something like this? My God, it might flip your mind that you finally found out that the Earth is flat. You finally found out that we're not moving. You finally found out that we're stationary. We're covered with a dome. You finally found out that if that's absolutely true, which it is, that would mean... There is no space. That NASA is a lie. That everything that they do is a lie. Everything that goes on is a lie. My God, that blows a lot of people's minds. Some people can't handle it, and they won't. They never will. But the truth is eventually going to come out. That's why they're doing all of this. What, you think this is real? <laughs> you think this is real? You think there's a virus out there? That if you don't wear a face mask when you go outside, you're going to die? Man. Yeah, some people think they do. That's why they take precautions. That's why they're wearing gloves and face masks and, and shields when they go outside and they don't want to breathe in the air. The air. <laughs> oh, man. What happens to, uh, how does a spacesuit work? How could a spacesuit not blow up like a balloon in space? Like, uh, the Marshmallow Man. That's what they would look like. Your hands wouldn't be mobile. You wouldn't be able to sit there and start screwing shit in the middle of space. They're screwing you! Oh, man. You know, I remember, I remember what, what my first um, uh, videos that, you know, that I came across. The, the, the wobbly door in space. That was the funny. I try, I'm trying to find it. I can't seem to find it. It's, you see them in the space station or whatever the fuck they were doing. I, who knows? And it's, it's a wobbly door opening up and closing. Ah, doesn't need to be sealed. Who the fuck cares? You know? <laughs> You're wearing a submarine anyway. Don't worry about it. Put some screen doors on it. You don't need a steel door. Ah, why? It's only the vacuum of space. How's Tesla doing? How's his car doing? Still in mint condition, I bet, right? Paint's perfect, windshield isn't cracked or anything like that. It isn't being pummeled with micro meteors and the tires haven't exploded yet, right? Oh yeah, it's shiny, nice, it's perfect. <laughs> oh boy, my, 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 my. All these lies, all of this bullshit, and they just keep piling it on. The riots, they got people so scared now, the gun stores are completely uh, sold out. They don't have any guns at all. So you better go out and get one. Yep. It, it, it really baffles me to a point where I really, at this, I don't know. I mean, the Twilight Zone seems to be true. It really does. I mean, it, it really, at this point of the game, seems like it's true. Um, because if these people are this stupid, you know, and then they don't, they don't realize it, uh, then we're, we're lost as a human species, you know? I mean, it might be the actual end of our civilization, uh, because people have just bowed down to the control that they have, uh, thrown out there.
And th that really is the most disturbing part is that, you know, they don't realize what they're doing. I mean, they're, they're, they're showing, they're consenting to the control. Okay. Owning a business really means shit now at this point, uh, because all they have to do is just take away your liquor license if you don't comply. That's different for businesses. But for the people, you know, that are just walking around, you know, with, with face masks. And, and I just got eyeballed today by an older woman. Uh, and she and she laughed because I went into Citibank and, and took out cash from the ATM without a mask. And she was leaving the bank at the time, you know. I mean, that's how bad it's gotten. But I, it's, it's worked to a point where, yeah, you know, hey, look, people are now attacking people that they would have never ever uh, you know attacked because of face masks you know and and that's that's disturbing too all right because it's it's working it's working it's working yes it is it's working and whatever the next level is it's gonna work again what not for us we don't buy any of this shit but they do I thank you for subbing I thank you for viewing my videos let me be a part of your life